The Murrs are four brothers and sisters, and they own two lots side by side on the St. Croix River in Wisconsin. The Murrs' parents bought the properties that are in dispute in the 60s. In 1960, the Murrs bought what I'm gonna call Lot F, and they transferred ownership of Lot F to a plumbing company that the dad owned and ran. And they built a cabin that they use as a summer cabin on that lot. In 1963, the parents then bought a second lot, Lot E, and they kept that lot vacant. In 1994, the plumbing company passed on ownership of Lot F to the Moore kids. A year later, the parents passed on ownership of Lot E to the kids. In the late 1990s, the kids started to be concerned because the river was flooding and the cabin on Lot F was getting flooded. The kids then applied for a series of variances with the County of St. Croix and the Department of Natural Resources. One of those variances asked if the kids could take Lot E and treat it separate from Lot F and sell it or do other things on it like build on it and the county and the Department of Natural Resources says no, you couldn't. When the kids acquired ownership of Lot E, when they already had ownership of Lot F from a year before, the two lots were effectively merged, and under the applicable regulations, the only one structure could be built on the two lots. And the Moors say, we were entitled to sell Lot E or to do something different on Lot E from the cabin on Lot F, and we have suffered a taking because we can't do anything by effect of this denial of an application for a variance. The question in this case is whether for the purposes of federal taking law, the two lots are two separate parcels or one holistic parcel. The takings clause reads, nor shall private property be taken for public use without just compensation. This case focuses on whether the MERS had property in their development rights on lot E, and then if they did have property on the, in those development rights, whether those development rights were taken. The MERS have two basic arguments. Their doctrinal argument is that all of the regulatory takings cases instruct courts to look at the parcel as a whole. And the MERS are gonna say that the parcel as a whole here means lot E, the lot that's defined in county records and the lot that gets tax assessments. The other argument they're gonna make is an appeal to fairness. Most parties who are relatively sophisticated are going to know about merger rules. The MERS didn't know about these rules and the case here looks like a little guy's getting picked on for not knowing the law. Regulatory takings laws construed in a way that gives state and local governments the benefit of the doubt. Wisconsin will say, when we're looking holistically, the holistic point of view takes into account that lot E and lot F are next to each other and they've been owned effectively by the same people since 1963. At its core, this is an argument about private property and the benefits of conservation. The MERS in this case are landowners claiming that they have a right to do what they want with their own land. And the government is administering a conservation law and claiming that the people of the United States want the St. Croix River to stay a scenic and pretty river. and Everybody in the country can't get that benefit unless the land owners relinquish some of the rights to develop their land. 